welcome to Let's Play Monopoly. So today's game looks like I get to go first, and look at that. I already get faults, Kevin. That's good. That means I don't have to make a trade for it, just in case Arthur gets it. That is helpful, having a nice 2 to nothing profit. 2 to 1. And that was back tied up at 2. Alright, I'll take $100. That makes sense. And Arthur can take the lead on properties. Oh, that is huge. And look at that, a 10. Do not get a 1 to 1. Phew. 445, 9. I will be paying 10%. 180, good. Forgot you have to double that. It's still paying the 10%. That makes sense. Wow. $75 is gone. So look at that, I already have two chances to get a Monopoly. Good, I still need a green property. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I need a green property and a red and an orange and at least two railroads. Look at that, Arthur paid 162 Yep, orange property to red. Thank you. Ten dollars. I'll take it. Wow, I have two yellow properties, so I have three chances at a monopoly. Six, let's see. Phew! I do not mind getting assessed if, you know, I have you know, no hoses. And look at that, I just got a monopoly. That is huge. So I have the ball to get Mediterranean Monopoly. Of course, don't be seeing them now. Get out instantly, Arthur. Yep, pay the $50. All right, I'll take Connecticut Avenue. Ooh, that's too bad. You shouldn't have paid the $50. Let's see. Oh, actually, there's a chance I could get this for more than what it cost. One nine. You're right. I saved $10. That's a good price for Pennsylvania River. Not a great price, but... I have no problem saving $10 and buying Pennsylvania Railroad. I'll buy it, even though there's no point. Alright, I have to mortgage it for I'll mortgage Boardwalk to pay for that. Ten. Alright, this is not good for Arthur. But I have to mortgage a property, so Marvin Gardens has to go for now. I have to mortgage another property. It's he just believable. 197. At least save $3 on that one. But anyway, yep, going, going, going. Anytime now. Wow, two railroads already. This is not going well for Arthur. Oh no! Venter Avenue has to go and Kentucky Avenue has to go. So I can pay for. North Carolina Avenue, $191. This is good. Hopefully, you know, I don't have to trade for an orange property. Oh. Alright, so yes, I am losing properties. But it's okay. What a surprise. He lands on Boardwalk and he pays nothing. Alright, $26. That's not good. When I wanted to park place. Arthur will take that. Arthur finally has a trade outlet. It took him almost four minutes to get one. Anyway, he would like Connecticut Avenue, but I have to reject his trade offer. It's all right. Thank you, $10. I still need an orange property. Five. Okay, 12 to Arthur, not good. Tennessee There we go. Arthur just got his second trade outlet. Alright, free parking. See, oh, look at that. $50. So it's my turn. Arthur is off to jail. So Arthur can't get a monopoly. 
Yep, he can't get one. I still have a shot at Boardwalk and Park. So, oh, I'm obviously have stuffed more, so I'm gonna pay the 200. All right, that's not good. I wanted that money to go on mortgage properties, but I guess I have to wait at least till the next time I walk around. Here we go. All right, dust yourself off. You got a 10, so. All right, Arthur would like to make another trade. So what does he want? He wants St. James Place, which makes sense, but you don't have $500 to, to give to me. So as of now, Arthur has two trade outlets. Still a few properties left to go. That is not good for Arthur. North Carolina has to go to pay for that monopoly. All right, land on this, these utilities. I'll come on off to jail. Oh no. So I'll mortgage St. Charles Place and get out instantly. Well, just slurred my speech there. It's all right. I will be getting out instantly. Oh, come on. Land on Park Place. You couldn't afford it. Pay school tax. Ridiculous. What is to St. James Place and State Avenue have to go to pay for that. How about a 12? All right, you got a 10 instead. It's all right, Kentucky Avenue, I own that property. Phew, I own that one as well. Arthur gets New York Avenue. Seven, let's see. Go back three spaces. Ooh, an additional $10. That's helpful. Arthur can take Illinois Avenue. Good. $200. Double railroad, but unfortunately, I own that railroad. So I'm just heading for that railroad. 278. Let's see. Which one do? So I do. Yeah, it's unmortgaged that property and St. Charles Place. Can't do boardwalk yet. That is not, definitely not good for Arthur. I get Park Place for $73. That is Monopoly number two. Good, good. Let's see. Like a buy. All right, so I guess Park Place has to go. What else has to go? St. Charles Place and Connecticut Avenue has to go to pay for that. That is not good. Wow, he landed on my Monopoly. He only has to give me $4. It's like he landed on Baltic. Instead of two dollars, it's four. So Arthur would like Kentucky Avenue. Of course, I have to reject his trade offer. Good, two hundred dollars. Double railroad card. That is not good. One hundred dollars. So it's like two properties left. They are both the railroads. Short line and reading, but a reading railroad does have its own chance card. Oh wait, you know what I always like to do? I always like to put houses here before I unmortgage properties for some reason. Good, so let's put six houses there. Advance to go. I wonder if he'll get a three. That would be really bad for Arthur if he got a three. Instead he gets a nine. Yup, pay no rent. What is this? Pay hospital. Not good. Pennsylvania Avenue has to go to pay for that. All right, pay no rent. That's fine. Oh, come on. Arthur gets to get out free from jail. Set. Good, 289. So let's put houses and hotels here. So hopefully Arthur will be landing on this. And hopefully I don't land on income tax. That would be bad. Seven. Yep, pay no rent. Phew. I like that name. All right, let's start. Hopefully, let's start unmortgaging these properties. Hopefully, it'll help by Arthur landing on, you know, my monopoly. Look at that. $450. That is not good. You can't be landing on Baltic Avenue. And then, landing on Virginia. So Arthur would like to make another trade. 
So Arthur would like Connecticut Avenue, which makes sense. But I do have to reject his trade offer, unfortunately. Let's unmortgage Boardwalk and Park Place. Alright, we'll keep that money to walk around the board. And just in case I get assessed, or if I have to spend money on a railroad. Not good. 20 to Arthur. 11. Oh, wow, this is not good for Arthur. It's not good for me either. Park Place has to go. Now auction it. $115 for a short line. That's a good deal. Yeah, I needed to mortgage Park Place. Barely, but I still needed to, you know, unmortgage it. Arthur is headed for jail. There's one more property left to be sold. And what do you know? I just landed on it. So, wow, well, I actually may end up... Arthur does not have a lot of properties. I may, I may end up ending the game. I mean, you know, I won't have unmortgaged all the properties. And Park Place will bring that back. There is a chance I could end the game in debt. However unlikely, but it's still possible. Alright, Arthur, out you go. Get out of jail free. So now he would like to make a trade. So Arthur would like Kentucky Avenue. Of course, I have to reject his trade offer, unfortunately. Phew. I wonder if he'll land on a railroad. Eleven. Phew. Two hundred dollars. He'll have to mortgage a property if he lands on a railroad. Nine. Alright. Any railroad is fine. Or my monopoly. Unmortgage States Avenue. Nine. Right in between he's off to jail. And he's off to jail. I don't know if I said and. Alright, it's time to stay in jail. But come on, I need him getting a five. Let's see. Wow. Yeah, I can't believe I got all four railroads. Or, I wonder if we'll get the double railroad card. Let's see. Take it right on the reading. Thank you. $200. That's the jail fee. That, so that card gets me $200 no matter what. If I get it, I get $200 for passing go. And if Arthur gets it, he owes me $200. Let's unmortgage St. Jane Place and Kentucky Avenue. And wow, seventy dollars. Wow, Arthur, this was not your game. But of course, take a walk on the boardwalk. I want Arthur getting that card. If Arthur gets it, I get money. But anyway, he paid eighteen dollars. All right, Arthur, make the trade offer. So, he would like Connecticut Avenue, but unfortunately I have to reject his trade offer. Ten. Good, let's, so let's unmortgage Pennsylvania Avenue. Let's do a nice big one. I should have picked Venter. So hopefully I have all four ra railroads and the utility, so hopefully I won't have to make another trade. Probably end up, I probably end up well to make a trade. Six. There we go. One hundred dollars. So let's see. He got a seven instead of a six. That's okay. Five. Thank you. Eight dollars. I'll take it. That is not good. Well, see, $75 down the drain. Really, he gets an additional $100. Seven. Oh, I need an eight, not a seven. 
That's on mortgage. Venter Avenue in North Carolina. I have one more property left to unmortgage. Look at that. $200. Thank you very much, Arthur. Wow. Alright, Arthur would like to pick trade. Trade. Wow, I thought we were going to head pit. I thought it was going to be him before the 15 minute mark, but I didn't. But of course, you already knew that because you saw how long this video is. He got a six. That is not good. $250. He can't be landing on my monopoly. Look at that. $8 right to me. Come on. Don't. Yeah. Don't go to jail. That's what I don't want. Alright. $20 to Arthur. But I get 18 of it right back. Alright. Good. Good. Hop on over. Four. I wanted him to get a four. But he got a seven instead. That's still good. $70. I have no problem with Arthur giving me $70. So let's put houses on Boardwalk and Park Place. This is good. Nine. Few good thing I did not get a ten. I would have had to mortgage a property. Even the double railroad card would have been nice. But instead he gets $50. So no point in taking a chance. While wow, right in between... Past boardwalk, he's right in between Baltic and Mediterranean. It's all right. All I do, he just to keep avoiding boardwalk and Park Place for. Then I then I actually would if he kept avoiding him. I would have to make a trade for the green property. Property. You know. All right. Let's see what he get. He got a seven. All right. Take my fifty dollars. Venter Avenue. Doctor's fee pay 50. Not good. Wow. Thank you, Arthur. $110. Oh no, should I have taken a chance? Oh, oh. You all double, so it's another shot at it. Come on, don't get a seven. I could have taken a chance. Phew, that they He missed it. Good, I'll take $200. 12, that is not good. $120. Thank you, Arthur, for refunding my money for buying those. Thank you very much. All right, let's take an eight, that's fine. Let's put two more houses here. Let's increase the damage. Let's see, he got the seven. So, yep, he owns Indiana Avenue. All right, Arthur is doing a great job avoiding Boardwalk Apartments for now. Hopefully, I don't have to make a trade for the green property. But you can also go to the end and see if I did. Oh, come on, 300 for ridiculous. Pennsylvania Avenue has to go. That is not good. I just got assessed. Well, I get assessed for $300, I lose $300, and Arthur gets $100. Two and a two. Thank you. $500. That's good. What else is there, Arthur? Wow. Park Place and Mediterranean Avenue. That Played well, Arthur. Oh, that was good for Arthur, you know. Look at that. So he's down to fourteen dollars. Up to four twelve. So it looks like Boardwalk or Park Place would end the game for Arthur. Wow, he has zero dollars now. Hopefully, I don't give him any money. Pay poor tax of 50. 
to own an apartment that I own, needs utility, so we'll have to mortgage a property. Which one depends on what he gets? $80? So Arthur has to mortgage, let's see, Pacific Avenue is gone. That's good. $150? He only has to give me 80 of that. And because he mortgaged that property, this reduces the maximum amount of money I can give Arthur. It's down to 26, and look at, oh wow. I thought he ended the game, but you just land on luxury tax. $75. Advance to go, collect $200. That's not good. There goes your go money. All right. So I wonder if this money will be headed toward income tax. Let's obviously set that 200 aside just in case. Of course, I have to reject your trade offer. Go to jail. Not good. Will Arthur pay off the jail fee? Turn one. Turn two. He did. He still hasn't given me a cent yet. He is one. He needs seven or ten to pay it off. Instead, he got a five. He did not give me one dollar in jail. Wow. Let's see. Yeah, I own that purpose. I only lost $50. There we go. Let's put houses and hotels here. There we go. So I did get hotels on Boardwalk and Marketplace. Four. Not good. He has to mortgage another property. Which one will he pick? He only needs $22. He picked Atlantic Avenue. He received $130. Only, need, only has to give me 22 and he got so much money. So, apparently if he did that, the maximum amount of money I can give Arthur has been decreased from 22 to 20. Of course, he's land on the boardwalk and park and end the game. He got a nine, so the game is still going on. But you clearly knew that. Oh, he got a nine. So, don't land on Boardwalk or Baltic or Mediterranean. Instead, you land on Eating Railroad. So, I will take your go money again. I need that go money in case I get assessed. Arthur got a five. So, six, few. Even a one to one is not good. Really? He gets $45? Oh. And Arthur still would like to make another trade. So he would like St. James Place, which makes sense, but I have to reject his trade offer. Let's see, will he land on another railroad and have to pay me money? But you mortgage a property, that's what I meant. You would also pay me money. Oh no, am I going to end the game in jail? Actually, he still could get a 12 minute door to boardwalk card. Alright, Arthur. I will be leaving jail, and you'll have to stay, unfortunately. Unless you get doubles. But I usually do have a get out of jail free card. So. Wow. He got it for free. He has to give me his $20, and I gave him back. He has to give me that money. Good, good $20. Really back to jail for me? All right, New York. Phew. All right, don't get doubles. I don't want to end the game in jail. Phew. He did not pay off the jail fee. $40, unfortunately. Wow. So I lost 10, so I lost $24, because he owns Tennessee Avenue. He got a six, so $28. Well, I saved you from mortgaging a property, Arthur. That is something you just can't do. So he'd like to make another trade. Trade. So he would like Connecticut Avenue. All right, this is clearly a mistake, but 
You give me Oriental and I. I will take that off your hands to get rid of a tree outlet. Clearly a mistake. 179. There we go. It's a deal. That's pretty weird. It's a, it's a deal. When Arthur makes his trades. Wow. You need a three or a five. So he's still alive. So I did take that property away from him. Unfortunately for Arthur. You have 429. All you have to do is land on my my property one time for now. Yes, I did take away $50 of your assets. Come on, stop landing on luxury tax. That's good. $60. Actually, since it's mortgaged, actually, I wouldn't think I have to pay the full amount. So I guess, you know, I should start saving up for a trade of the green property because Arthur doesn't want to land on the boardwalk or, park or parkways anytime soon. Although we could just land it the next turn. Anyway, look at that, $26. 12 back to Arthur. I could pay no rent. And the game is still going. He needs a three or five to end the game. He gets that, the game is over. He got an 11 instead. So I'll be taking your go money. You paid $200. Hopefully, you know, he won't have to unmortgage it, then it'll cost $2,000. Although, if you keep playing on these railroads, I'll get the 2000 easy. Well, I'm not giving, not, you're not getting Kentucky out. So, come on, luxury tax again, but it's okay, $10. Oh, come on, I get assessed a second time. Wow, how was that helpful, me getting assessed? Advance to Illinois Avenue, not advance the boardwalk. If you got advanced the boardwalk, the game would have been over. Thank you, I need $40. Alright, four thirty-six. that's how much money I have. Thank you, keep giving me money, and you won't own Pacific Avenue anymore. Alright, $20, not good. Arthur survived his elimination roll. A few I own that property, so it's okay. Arthur definitely needs to keep avoiding my railroads if he wants to make this comeback. So he's down to five fifty worth of assets. What does he want this time? He would like St. James Place. But of course I have to reject his trade offer. Pay school tax? Wow! How am I going to get the money if I keep getting assessed and have to pay school tax? How am I going to save up? Five. Really? Luxury tax as well? But look at that. A $22 consolation prize from Arthur. A 10 or 12 ends the game. Alright. This is good. Really? Arthur gets an additional $10. Five. Good. Let's see. What did Arthur get? He got a five, so the game is still going on. He lost $75, unfortunately. What do I get? Pay hospital. Wow. It's all right. Income tax, that's fine. Seven. All right, $20 to Arthur. But $10 goes right back to me. Good keep landing on properties that I own. Really a bank error in his favor. Wow, look at that. And he gets an additional $22. Wow. 
down to 37. What a surprise! Income tax. And then he gets another $25. Wow. I thought he was going to unmortgage a property. So anyway, he would like Kentucky Avenue, which makes sense. But his offer has been rejected. I can't even trade for... There we go, 1500 He finally landed on Boardwalk or Park Place. So, unfortunately, Arthur, Arthur, his game is over. So that is the end of the game. So I guess I will see you in the next video.